Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for June, darling, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, and be sure, Sagittarius, to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs so you can get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. But other than that, darling, let's just get right into your tarot reading here today, all right? In your first row here, Sagittarius, we have coming in here the Ace of Pentacles, the High Priest as well as the nine of wands coming in here for you all right some of you guys are not being stubborn enough uh Sagittarius when it comes to your money I'm gonna <laughs> darling I'm gonna just say this right now Sagittarius if you are sensitive darling do not watch this video because I'm about to be very very straight up with you guys because you guys are limiting your own success big time all right whatever it is that you're wanting to accomplish for many of you guys it's your finances you have like a strong ability and being able to create something all right that would give you a lot of revenue but you're ignoring your intuition, all right? you're not you're not honoring something enough here and so it's like whatever it is that you're wanting to desire you're throwing in the towel way too soon you're ignoring your intuition and it's like some of you guys you're just like even doubting you're just doubting yourself way too much Sagittarius doubting yourself way too much and so definitely going to need to be working on that for your second row Sagittarius we have coming in here the nine of cups the king of pentacles as well as the emperor card coming in here and this is the reason why it's like you guys are y'all are so used to Sagittarius some of y'all playing so small or you you don't want to take up too much space in a room that's what's going on here it's like you don't want to take up too much space in a room some of you guys you feel like you're being selfish for wanting success in your life for wanting to have things just good things happen for you but it's like some of you guys are just so uncomfortable with this idea of having people see you in your highest power all right some of you guys are so you don't want to be seen in your highest power because perhaps last like people in the past have made you feel bad about it right people have made you feel bad about being like oh such a terrorist you shouldn't be wanting money that's not something that you should be going after money isn't everything right there's like this sense of shame that i feel like is associated um with you sagittarius when it comes to this place of where you are starting to try to claim your rightful throne and then people are trying to gaslight you and be like oh sagittarius like you really want to be doing that that's what I see is going on here all right and then for your third row here Sagittarius we got coming in here the queen of pentacles the nine of swords as well as the moon energy coming in here all right there's definitely some anxiety when it comes to someone in your life that you have a close relationship with you do definitely ha associate this with some type of spiritual label whether that's a soulmate or a twin flame or maybe they are just the type of connection where it's just like you like two peas in a pod right where it's just like you really click with them um and the moment you start talking to them they feel super nostalgic to you right i feel like you guys are really in your head currently about how it is that they're feeling right um what it is that they think about you here right there's a lot of anxiety for you because it's just like you you feel like for some reason you're left out in the dark you're left out into the unknown here maybe they are not communicating properly right we'll know with the clarifying cards but um let's start taking these messages in here as i was saying here um sagittarius straight up you guys really are sleeping on a, a, a pot of gold you guys are sleeping on such a successful idea that you guys could accomplish here but it's like you guys are dismissing it because maybe some of you guys are afraid of like going out into the unknown taking that risk of trying to avoid that fool's journey because you don't know how the outcome's going to look you avoid doing it right it's kind of like that sense where it's just like uh Sagittarius maybe you wanted to start like a YouTube channel but then in your head you're just like oh there's so much I don't know how to do or you don't know how it would pan out you don't know if it would be successful and so that's when you start dismissing it that's what you, that's when you start dismissing it and that's the biggest mistake that you could be doing at this time all right you guys right now Sagittarius like I don't know why I just want to like grab you guys by the shoulders and just shake you guys because it's like y'all are not acting like yourself Sagittarius and trust me honey I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp Libras and Sagittarius is we're like two peas in a pod so and plus my mother's a Sagittarius honey okay so I know my Sagittarius is darling all right you my Sagittarius are so insanely talented and it's like they know it right they know it it's like you can't tell Sagittarius no on anything because no is not in a Sagittarius's vocabulary it's just like if the Sagittarius wants to do it they're gonna go do it and they're gonna find a way one way or another so it leaves me sitting here 
Sagittarius is like, what's going on here that has you not feeling like yourself here especially because there's like this sense of shame associated with you standing strong in your beliefs right it's like you want to we'll just continue using content creating like being a, having a youtube channel as a analogy but it's like you want to have like a youtube channel and then perhaps like you have like the sense of shame associated with it where you're just like, oh, maybe that's like a silly dream of mine. I shouldn't be doing that. Like you always end up downplaying these things and you don't stick with it for whatever the reason is. And it's just like Sagittarius, if you actually just were to say screw off to everyone else, every naysayer and what have you, anyone that tries to make you feel bad about you being that emperor and sticking to your guns or something, those are just people that are not meant to be part of your life because I'm sorry, like I just do not have patience for people that try to have an opinion about what it is that I'm tr personally doing, right? Because it's like all, you know, for me, I do tarot, right? And I do content creation. All you have to do to be my person to, you know, when you're in my life is just to be supportive. You don't have to comment. You don't even have to watch my videos. Just be so supportive of me the moment someone tries to make you feel bad about doing the things that you are wanting to do they are not meant to be in your life because you think about it put it in this perspective Sagittarius it does not impact them whatsoever the only reason why they're making it personal the only reason why certain people are taking offense and trying to downplay you and trying to shame you from not claiming your rightful throne is because they feel threatened by you because they want they want to do what it is that you are going after right and they know because as i just said like sagittarius are the ones that do the damn thing they know that if you were to do it you'd be so successful and then by you being successful sagittarius it makes these other people insecure because they're just like well wait a minute if they could do it why can't i do it right it force like your success forces other people to self-reflect on where it is that they are lacking all right and they don't want to have that happen all right so it's just like take this take those signs don't like i don't know like some of y'all just need to be a little bit more cutthroat with these people darling all right some of these people shouldn't be having this access to you now Sagittarius all right you guys the reason why some of you guys don't want to take further action when it comes to your ideas is because you would have like it's no longer uh teasing it's no longer tapping into your people pleaser aspect all right good people always have that this people pleaser aspect because they just want to make other people happy right and for some of y'all y'all have like the sense of guilt when it comes to wanting to pursue the things that you personally want to pursue all right um and it's like i don't know it's this is like sagittarius this is one of those things where you have to have a conversation with yourself and be like all right like um when are you going to start living your life because no one else is like no one else is making you the priority sagittarius so you got to make yourself that priority when are you when is it sagittarius's turn for their success for their happiness all right you've invested in all these other people sagittarius you've helped out other people with their goals and their dreams you've been that supportive friend you've been that emotional shoulder for other people and you're seeing probably all these people that you have been supporting this entire time sagittarius they're not supporting you and that's probably pr probably part of the reason why you're feeling the way that you're feeling because it's like you you just really anticipated a much stronger support system and reality is Sagittarius unfortunately it just seems to be like you invested into people that just don't want to invest in you all right so let's start clarifying this here I told y'all Sagittarius that this is not going to be a reading meant for the sensitive darling okay um let's start clarifying all this now mm -mm. So we have coming in here the two of rings, the justice energy, that Libra energy dialing with up, honey, and that ace of swords, all right? Y'all are juggling too much, Sagittarius. Y'all are juggling way too much in your life right now, all right? Y'all are still trying, it's like, you can't make your dreams a reality while also um, trying to help live out someone else's dream, all right? Y'all are juggling too much and you guys need to make more time for your own creative ideas and not be afraid of putting, taking the action towards that, all right? Because again some of you guys have this anxiety with taking those risks because of the unknown but it's like you need to give it the proper time but right now you feel as if you don't have the time because you're giving all of your time and energy to other people all right if you were to just take action all right that's really what it is Sagittarius if you were to just take action and just put like just spend them do me a favor Sagittarius spend the month of June just 
doing your own businesses, just doing your own hustles, not helping out anybody else, just focusing in on you and what makes Sagittarius happy. And I promise you, you'll manifest some amazing things in your life here. All right. But the, right now you're juggling too much that it doesn't infect you. You're juggling too much that it doesn't affect you. You're juggling too much that isn't benefiting you in the way that it's benefiting other people. All right. Let's continue on here. Mm -mm. I guess we're going to be doing four. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups coming back out, the Spirit of Cups, as well as the Four of Rings coming in here. Let's see if we can get all these show in, darling. This is interesting to me. All right. I feel like for you guys right now, Sagittarius, you guys are at this point where you are unfortunately having too many people around you that don't want and want to invest in you but spirit is acknowledging this and they're just like all right we can put these people on sagittarius's path but we can't put these people on sagittarius's path to help them with their goals until sagittarius makes that space until sagittarius starts taking that action and so what you'll notice sagittarius is the more that you start separating yourself from those other energies that are not supportive of you all right you might be afraid of being alone for a while and i'm not going to sugarcoat it you're going to be having a little solo journey for a little bit but spirit is letting you know that they will bring forth their proper people to assist you with those goals to you know you don't have to take on this journey by yourself it's not the it's not the sense that you're asking like you're expecting too much from other people Sagittarius you're just expecting too much from the wrong people that's what it is you're expecting too much from the wrong people and so we need to start making a transition away from that away from the people that are wrong so it makes space for these new people that are trying to come in but this these this new energy is not going to come in until you uh, start taking action and remove these other people so you don't know these energies yet all right it's still relying on you <clears throat> and then let's take a look here for your final cards. We have here the Three of Rings, Three of Wands, as well as the Seven of Wands coming in here. All right, and this is this makes a lot of sense. The Three of uh, Three of Rings is the epitome of collaboration, Sagittarius. All right, you guys are going to be manifesting a mentor. You guys are going to be manifesting somebody, uh, Sagittarius, that you know. You're going to be rewarded for being such a good person, all right? You're going to be rewarded for helping out everyone else's dreams and all that, but it's not going to be rewarded from the people that you helped out, all right? So it's like the people that you assisted, as messed up as it sounds, like they're not going to be the ones that help you. It's going to be these new energies. It's like it's like your spiritual team is going to seize how much you've been giving to all these other situations and since no one else is giving to sagittarius spirit can is wanting to give to you all right so you guys will immediately um once you make this transition start having your path going down a way where it's like you're going to be meeting someone that can really in a way i feel like can change your life in a way because they're going to be able to help you manifest the things that you're wanting to desire definitely in the same interest in the same field that you are in as well all right there's someone that's going to be brought forward to you that's going to be insane insanely spoiling for you all right and it's going to be through spirit working through that person so it's almost in a way that spirit's spoiling you but it's going to be through a very successful person all right sagittarius so that's the tarot reading that i have for you darling hopefully this reading resonates with some of you guys and i didn't step on too many toes darling i hope this gave you all some of the wake up call if you want to book a reading with me such a terrace you can book a reading with me on my website darling simplyvalka.com darling all right be sure to follow my social medias instagram and tiktok darling simplyvalka dot com honey all right and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future sagittarius but um until next time i love you so much darling bye sagittarius